stop saving or investing your money in bank so do this and make sure you don't keep the money at the bank because the value of that money will keep depreciating <laughs> My name is Grace Steven and welcome to our YouTube channel. If today is your first time of coming across our channel, consider subscribing and put on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comment section and we'll be glad to reply to your, all your comments. Guys, let's dive into the video. So, have you noticed that the price of goods and services in our country keep increasing day by day, month by month and year by year? I mean. If you are keeping 1,000 Ghana cities at the beginning of this year at the bank, till this time, that 1,000 Ghana cities is not the same because the value of that 1,000 cities has depreciated. I mean, if that 1,000 Ghana cities can buy, let's say, 10 bags of cement, but at this particular time of the year, that 1,000 Ghana cities cannot buy that same amount or quantity of cement that you would have used it to buy in the beginning of the year. And there is nothing an individual can do about it so get closer stay with me to the end of this video so that i will share with you what you have to do for you to even make some profit or interest on that amount of money bank is not the best option what you have to do is to invest the money in agriculture or make sure that you are doing any business that you are passionate about that you are willing to do yourself directly and make sure you don't someone to invest in their business for you because you are not the first person in contact with that money because the money is for you make sure that you're the one investing it into any business that you are very passionate about and i am going to recommend two businesses that you are going to invest that money in that will yield much return for you the first business that i will recommend that you invest your money into so that you make enough out of it is agriculture let me say I agree. Many people start thinking about farming, so or maybe going to the bush. Now, agri is no longer about going to the bush because there are a lot of other businesses that are in the agri sector that does not require you going into the bush. You can even do a lot of agriculture work in your home. I have made a lot of videos about a couple of agri businesses that you can do right in your home. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description section so that you can check them out and know which of them that is best for you. We have things like fish farming that do not require huge space. Even these days, people are planting carrot or cabbage in their home. It doesn't require huge space. And if you want to do such a type of farm, you can begin at a smaller scale. And then when you see that that you are comfortable with it and everything is doing well for you then you can try to scale up you don't just jump into it with all your money that you want to invest because but at that time you don't know anything about that particular farming so if your mind is to go into farming make sure you begin at a smaller scale and whilst time goes and you have developed enough capacity then you'll be able to scale up your business or your farming one thing i love about agriculture so much is that no matter the amount of money that you have you'll be able to use for something meaningful which will multiply or even triple your money for you which no bank will be able to do for you in the shortest period of time if you invest less than a thousand Ghana cities in agriculture properly and you follow everything that you're supposed to do i'm sure you're going to make triple or even more than that amount of money when whatever you are investing into matures the crop or the animal you're investing into matures which no bank will give to you so whether you have thousands even 500 cities will be able to help you to enter into agriculture which will double your money for you so don't let your money sit down just in your bank account so that it will keep depreciating and the second business that i recommend that you have to enter into which will double or even triple your money for you which is better than you keeping your money at the bank is going into selling or you yourself as an environment you know the things that they like so much so you write all those things on paper you go to the market you buy those things in bulk bring it to your town sell it and be able to make enough out of it so whether it is granite whether it is uh, toiletries whether it is cosmetic whatever it is go to the market make sure you're not buying from the smaller stores go to the big shops tell them you are buying to come and sell as well then they'll be able to give you the prices that are good which will also uh, enable you to put some little profit on it and when you're starting this type of business make sure you don't put huge profit on it from the beginning because you want customers 
when you do that people are going to run away from because people are in that business before you are so make sure that when you're beginning you attract customers by reducing your prices or even trying to give them bonuses whilst you are selling let's say rice or granite or let's say cosmetics or whatever it is you can even do little things of finesse or let's say key holders when you see that someone is a regular customer you give that key holder to the person and the person will be so happy and be able to bring more people to come and buy from you so do not keep your money at the bank make sure you're entering into agriculture or you are entering to selling in your home or wherever you are guys thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy it let me know in the comment section which of them is best for you and i'll be glad to reply all your comments thanks so much and we'll see you in our next video bye